frugal crafter. I haven't done a jewelry tutorial in a while, so I figured it's about time, don't you think? I also know it's summer, and I don't know about you, but I have long hair, and I do not want it down and sticking to my neck and my back and ah, this time of year. It's just too hot for that. So, um, what I'm going to do is show you how to make these really fun, cute, dangly earrings. And what we're going to use is some inexpensive jewelry chain. This I picked up for a buck in the beading department at Walmart, for goodness sake. So it's something you can easily find. And uh, it's very lightweight, but you still get that impact of having big jewelry without the weight. And, I mean, you can even make them longer if you have a longer neck than I do, which, quite frankly, most people do. My mother used to call me Lindsay the No-Neck Monster when I was a kid. Oh, <laughs> ten bucks in the therapy jar. What can I say? But look, isn't it fun? It does kind of accentuate, lengthens the neck, I think. Lengthen. Let's just get to the tutorial. I think I've lost my mind. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get some crafting on. I am wicked excited to share these earrings with you. They were so fun to make, and I got to use some stash that has been hanging around in my jewelry box that I haven't had, I don't know, inspiration for. So I really wanted some snazzy earrings to wear today. And um, what came as the inspiration is this chain. And this was out oh, in the, like, a, if you go to Walmart, they have this dollar, they have this bead section, and they have all this dollar stuff. And these packages of chain were in there. I think they're aluminum, and they have all different colors. And here's, like, some brass or antique gold or whatever. But I love this shiny blue, and I've had it for, like, a year, and I didn't know what to do with it until today. Now, it's very easy to to cut so as you can see I've got all my components out here and um, I simply have cut little pieces of chain off and what you want to do is just grab your diagonal pliers or your flush cutters um, and just you can either if it's a short piece of chain you can count how many links you want I want six so one two three four five six so I'll cut in the link above just give it a good squeeze and all you got to do is really break through one side of that and then remove the broken piece and then you've got your little bit of chain here and uh, I like to lay everything out, kind of figure out how I want everything to dangle. And then um, what you will need to do is put your beads on some eye pins. And these eye pins are from Oriental Trading. Um, they have like a, it's like a thousand pack for a few dollars. It's really handy. I wasn't crazy about the silver, but I like the way the gold, the brass, and the antique, and the copper. Um, look, but to, uh, to put these together, so like here, this one, I need to have a, a loop on each side. So I'm using an eye pin. And uh, they also contain head pins. It's head pins and eye pins. I'll put a link below to that. Now, so what I have here is I've got the loop on one side. I'm going to need another loop here to hook it to my chain like I did on my earring I just showed you a minute ago. So to make a simple loop, we're going to be making a lot of these, so get used to this technique. You're going to make a bend about an eighth of an inch right above the bead, okay? And then after you've got that bend, you'll want to cut it. Uh, cut that, that wire from the bend about a quarter of an inch. And you can use your 3-in-1 tool, but I prefer to use my uh, my cutters, you know. But if you just have the 3-in-1 tool, you can use the cutters right on there. I just have a harder time gauging exactly where the cutter's going to chomp down since it is uh, offset a little bit. And then um, you want to grab the end of the wires close you know, with the pliers, close to the end as you can, and just curl it in. Now, you could try to get the chain in there when you do that, but I find that you usually get a little gap, so I like to do this to all of the, um, all of the pieces I need before I actually assemble the earring. So I need a head pin for the bottom, um, for the bottom bead. Now, head pin looks like a little nail. It's just got a little, uh, little flat head there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a simple loop here. Do that. I hope this isn't terribly boring to watch. So remember, I'm going to make my bend about an eighth of an inch above the bead. Then I'm going to trim this so I've got a quarter of an inch of of um, wire there. Then I'm going to grab my um, the end of my wires close to the end as I can and just curl it in so I've got a nice tight curl. I'm just going to set it there while I get the rest of my... Um, while well, I get the rest of my jewelry pieces ready. So. All right, so now we're gonna put the thing together. We're also gonna need an earring finding, just a little, I like the fish hook style because it's gonna really add to the dangliness. And um, you're gonna want a jump ring. And this one, I'd say, eh, what is that? It's probably about six millimeters, eh, I think. Okay, so to put our earring pieces together what I'm going to do now I've got all my chain cut and laid out and I'm going to use my pliers to gently open my uh, my loop that I made here but I'm just going to give it a little twist never pull it open like the other way because then you're going to weaken it so I need one end of my chain in there 
Get in there, you. Good, I kind of hold it on the bottom. It's kind of a, it's kind of a gommy procedure. And then I'm going to twist it closed, just like that. And there I've got the chain on there. So then I need to hook this next piece to my chain. So again, I'm going to open up this. I have a hard time holding this away from myself, trying to trying to see it and keep it in frame and everything. And then I'm going to put that other end of the chain right on there and close it up. I know my my um, connections are going to be secure because I didn't try to do it all at once. Now here I'm actually going to go um, bead to bead, so I'm just going to open up this one here. Going to slide this hook in. Uh, I've got to make sure I have it the same way as the other one. I had the fat end down on the other one, so I'm going to do the same here. And close this up. And then I've got a piece of chain to add, so I need to open up this end. See which end is the uh, opening part. There we go. Put my chain on. Gosh, I hope this is all in focus. Ah! and close that up and then um, I'm actually going to get each of these strands done before I attempt to put them all on that jump ring but look how cool that is I mean you could do a whole necklace that way or a bracelet um, very very easy mm -hmm. alright I've got three of the I got these three pieces done and so now all I need to do is open this jump ring and put the uh, the three chains on there so to open the jump ring I need two pairs of pliers I'm gonna hold one side of the jump ring with this plier and one side of the with the other and I've got the split the opening of that right up at the top I'm shaking I've had a little extra coffee today but there now it's open and I'm going to put I'm just gonna go right down the line the side the middle and the other side and then the hook and uh, this is where all of our hard work gets to pay off you can um you can really make these quickly once you get the hang of it and also um, when you're not doing a video and you actually can hold it in front of your face where you can see it it's a lot quicker getting those little components on there I'm not I'm a, kind of a gum I'm not very coordinated and there goes the furnace oh my gosh it's the middle of July this is ridiculous and uh, I'm gonna put this um, ear wire on there and grab my other plier and close her up just like that and there we have our other earring I just love these dangly ones to match this one pretty I want to thank you so much for watching please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video and uh, if you go to my channel you can find all my other jewelry making videos there's a playlist there so you can check it out thank you so much for watching until next time happy crafting